Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's another fine day with an unboxing of a brand new watch for 2019. The Amazfit Verge. Yeah, inside of here is uh, the Chinese ver. Oh, don't turn it off yet. Wait a second. I got wait a the Chinese version of the Amazfit Verge. Now, I almost didn't bring this one in because I was concerned that, you know, looking at a Chinese watch is a bit of a challenge for us. However, stick with me. Got a little secret for you. <laughs> I think you're going to like it. So it comes with this cover and a white box that we <clears throat> shake and bake and out comes. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Really big watch. I mean, box for a tiny little watch. Here it is. Let's talk about it first. This is, again, the Xiaomi Amazfit Verge. It's a 1.3 inch Chinese only version, not international, of a really fun fitness watch coming to us from Gearbest. Now, why in the world would I bring in a Chinese watch for you? Well, for one, it's 2019. Show you new technology. Oh, by the way, January 5th, it'll be Uncle Tick's four year anniversary of this channel. We've come a long way. The reason I'm showing it to you now is you can change this to English. Not easily, but it's doable. And that was the whole uh, arm twist that, that got me to bring this thing in because another YouTuber, Jomotech, has a, a very easy to follow video with English subtitles that explains exactly how to set the watch up for English. So we're gonna look at the Chinese version of it and then you can bop over to his site and uh, do the little quick shenanigans that you not, you got to do. English is totally in the watch. It just needs to be activated. So what have we got? We can English tell you that it's going to have a heart rate monitor in it that'll give you real-time feedback and let you know about your heart rate anytime, anywhere. It's going to display health uh, parameters, uh, time, date, steps, distance, calories, all of those kind of things. And when you're paired to your smartphone, you can sync all of that data to either Android or iOS. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you curious about your sleep quality? Well, the sleep monitoring function in this watch will give you that answer. And you can control your smartphone to take uh, pictures right from your wrist as well. Basic stuff we've seen on a smartwatch is just this is that uh, maze fit quality. So hardware wise, we've got four gigabytes of total storage and 512 mega, megabytes <laughs> of RAM. Seems like a flashback from two years ago, but remember this is not an Android watch. This is a sports fitness watch. So you got actually quite a bit of memory to put some songs in and things like that if you want to. These are the different functions. Got different alarms and health trackers. It's a 360 by 360 AMOLED screen, 1.3 inch. So it'll work for either men or women, a lot like the Amazfit Pace actually in size. You've got a 380 amp hour, milliamp hour battery. So you should be able to get some decent standby time and at least a couple of days of use out of it. There's the dial and bam, the features, the weight and all the other information. Okay. Let's take it out and take a look. First of all, the packaging, typical Amazfit, gorgeous. You see the, uh, the pattern in the white? If, yeah, you can, kind of in the reflection there. And they want you to lift here and open this section. Take a little box out of another box. I mean, the packaging is, is so much fun on these. Then it looks like we need to do a lift here. Okay, we've got some compartments, one of which is, wow, is that a dock and a half or what? Wow, you could have your little bowl of soup out of this thing if it didn't have these slots. Charging pins, a maze fit written in it, hardwired in the bottom. Hmm, that's interesting. Don't quite understand that layout, but there it is. Then we've got our most likely Chinese only manual, and then the watch itself, which just pops right out of here. Okay, and that's it for the box. Let's look at the manual quickly. 
Uh, of course, it's in Chinese. So if you want to throw your Google Translate on it, you can uh, to see what these words mean. There's the QR uh, uh, code that you scan for the AmazeFit app. Okay, let's hope there's an English version of the app out. That would be nice. There's your Bluetooth tethering information. And there's how you slap it into the charger. And they're showing to do it sideways. Here's some more information. Don't even know what the titles are. There's a overview, <laughs> a chart, tables, more information. This is what we get into when we're reviewing Chinese watches on an English channel. But again, with the help of Google Translate, you can just do that with your cell phone, freeze frame the picture, uh, and it'll help um, unravel all of that stuff for you. Okay. Wow, where do we begin? I guess I, I'm going to begin by charging it. And just to show you guys, because I haven't done this before. It, interesting, it's like plastic. Wow, interesting. It's got a cover on it. Oh, okay, that was just markings on the screen. It wasn't on. Duh. There's the, um, the bezel with little red marks across it. Uh, definitely plastic solid screen your heart rate monitor there there and your charging pins there it looks like it looks like removable bands doesn't it let's try it it's got the little pin for it do I push and pull do I do it this way wow I don't know not coming out it's an odd uh, arrangement anyway. You're not going to stick standard uh, watch bands on it. There you go. That one came out. Huh, okay. There's no antenna connections in it. But then again, it's um, probably just using a Bluetooth uh, and not cellular inside of it. All right, I'm going to charge it and put it back together for you. This goes in here like that. And you either sit it on the wire, I guess, or with the band on it, you can turn it sideways and show the time. I'm not sure. I've never seen a dock like that. All right, we'll be back. One red button on the side. Press and hold to activate it. And waiting, waiting. There we go. We're getting the A with the dot. Looks like a, uh, a good quality screen. Solid black background with the logo on it. Ah, okay. Oh, how fun. That's an upgrade from their original uh, logo we've seen on the Amazfit Pace and Stratos. Oh, you'd like to see this watch next to those? Okay, once it's booted up, we'll take a quick look and compare. See what the layout's like. I can tell you right off the bat, this one is much more smor smorty, much more sporty, uh, lightweight, uh, Different design, definitely. Different uh, materials. Wow. Now, this is its first boot, so it might be taking some time to unpack some things inside and get started. Usually, watches boot quicker than this. So, while it's booting, I'll bring over my paint roller. I guess you guys have found that a paint roller is a great way of storing your watches, right? <laughs> I've got the Amazfit Pace Chinese and English version, and I've got the Stratos Chinese and English version here. You can see right off that the Stratos is a much, much bigger watch with three buttons, uh, Himongo uh, layout. It's got the um, carbon fiber body to it. It's got the really beefy bands. Ah, this thing's still going. So it's not a lot like the Stratos, but it's, it's kind of close to the pace. So let's pull off the pace while it's still booting and show you, first of all, the dock is different. It's still a hefty dock that has to be pushed onto the back of it. Yep, still going. Um, it's got the USB connector to it on the side. So unlike the dock for this one with a solid wire in the bottom, and look at the size differences. Uh, okay, personal opinion, this is a heck of a step backwards. Really? Uh, this was a little bit cumbersome, you know, for, for me, for this one, especially how tight it is, and you have to get it aligned exactly right, and there's no marks to do that. 
So I had a bit of a fuss with the uh, Amaze Fit Pace uh, dock. Uh, this one's insane. <laughs> it's insane. All right. I uh, Still booting. Okay. <laughs> See, I can fill time with anything. Let's look at the back of these. Get them oriented kind of together. Yeah, layout is different, but they're the same size overall, it looks like. This is a little more curved spaceship kind, and this has got a definitely square corner. She's still booting? Yeah. Um, heart rate diode thing in the center. It's been redesigned. This had a key notch for the charging dock. You've got the curved pins uh, for both of them, four of them in different locations. Removable bands, not the same size. You can see this one, it cuts in, and when we took it out, it's got, you have to have specialized bands for this one. Well, uh, this is a standard size you could just interchange easily with any band on the pace, uh, which I like, I prefer a lot better. This is uh, definitely a solid metal build with really shiny edges to it. Uh, microphone on that side, same over here one button that's recessed underneath okay there we go now we got the qr code gonna leave that here for you to scan and um, not sure which app it is but we'll figure that out and put the uh, link to it in the show notes if it's available on the google play store and if it's like typical amaze fit uh, we're kind of stuck until we actually tether it uh, you can't go anything any further forward than this Okay, we'll be back once we get that all set up. But before we go, let's take another look at this. Um, I don't have it all charged up for you, but the uh, screen sizes look similar. Probably same 1.3 inch. This one, when you put it on, looks like this. Okay. And this one, definitely more sporty looking thicker yeah okay all right let's get it hooked up so because this is the chinese version and not the international version of the verge when we scan the qr code it brings us to this link which will take you to this page which is the chinese version it looks like of the amazfit watch app so i've gone ahead and loaded up the Google Play Store version of the AmazeFit app, and that's where we are. With the app open and logged into your account, you got to create one if you haven't yet, then you get to this page where you need to agree or sign out with their software hardware license agreement and their privacy policy. And you could read all those if you want to. Now, it says we're disconnected. So the first thing, of course, we got to do is to try to connect and we want it looks like it's all set up for connecting to the uh, original pace mm. more unpair okay let's unpair the pace and watch isn't connected so we want to unpair it and now we want to try to load in a brand new one ah it wants to read contacts which i'm not doing yet and unpaired now we get here where we have the new verge whoa i have my brightness control on the side let's get that so we can see it without washing out uh you had to update this app or install the brand new one in order to get this so i'm going to select it uh do i want it to take pictures okay place the code on the amaze fit watch inside the frame which is here. Couldn't scan because you see that's the QR code for uh, downloading the app. We already have the app and this is where we get stuck. Aha, well, I tried it again without changing anything on the watch because I can't, I can't even turn it off by holding it down. Anyway, it seems like it got that. Uh, connection and now it's saying it wants to pair and that's a one is a yes or a no i'm gonna guess that's a yes and it's connecting okay great okay it's in the process of pairing allowing it to read contacts ah, 
I don't want it to read my contacts. Okay. Updates are available for the watch. So right away, we've got a uh, an update, but we could skip that version. Um, although it should be updated, I guess. All right, I'm going to do an update. Update now. Synced successfully. And it's asking a question of which yes should be the answer. It just vibrated, and now it's rebooting. Yay, we are here. Oh, this is awesome. It's got SAT in English, so it's like it's a... Uh, is it in English? Did it switch automatically? Ah, oh, no. See, it's still in Chinese on all of the icons. So uh, you're going to need to go over and do the little magic trick to change the language inside the watch to English because it's the international version. says we're connected. Here's the ROM information, battery. You can select one of eight different watch faces. Let's try that one. See what happens. There it is. How about that one? Okay, nice. We've got a couple of different digital ones. There we go. And then there's this one. All right, so that function's working really well. And we have different app settings that are in here that we have access to. And uh, widget settings. These are all the different widgets that you can turn on so we could see those like heart rate, and sleep. Look at that. It has Alipay and the transit card, because this is the Chinese-only one for using on the train system over there. you got your phone for tethering. Set up two widgets. Oh, okay. I guess we can only do two widgets. So we've got the two widgets, sleep and heart rate, in it. And I presume those are available as you scroll through here in one direction or another. When I come down... Wow, okay, it's got the temperature and a variety of different other settings uh, or things that you can go into. Here's your overall settings. Again, you can see they're icon driven as well as Chinese, so information and checking for updates and all those kind of things. So those are probably easy enough that you could fuss yourself through to figure them out. Here's the Deeper settings, looks like uh, maybe 12 or 24 hour mode. Again, you can put your um, translator on this. We did that in an earlier review of the pace. That was crazy. Uh, or you can convert this thing to English. Here's our uh, silent mode. There's uh, airplane mode. This is, I guess, your overall volume. Yeah, and you, it, we're in silent mode now. So you can change the volume there. There's your overall brightness. Oh, it was almost all the way dim. All right, let's play with it. And you can go, whoa, way bright. It's way too bloomed out. I presume this is automatic uh, brightness. Tells you what you can do with that. And now that's turned on, so you can set a threshold level. Cool, okay. Here's your watch information. Power off or reboot, perhaps. And then systems, we went into that. So that's at this level. Can't go that way, can't go that way. We got that way by going up like that. There's your battery charge and so forth. Now, if we go down, we get into notifications, I presume. That's the icon. Nothing left, nothing right, nothing else down. Okay, go to the left, nothing. Go to the right, and now we get into our different uh, widgets. There's the sleep time widget you saw us add. And there's the heart rate widget. And it's already got some data in here, it looks like. Um, not sure where that's coming from, but we can activate it, which should turn it on, put my finger on it, and we'll let it uh, calculate heart rate. So you see, you really can use these watches, uh, even if you don't get it set up for English, but it's going to be much more valuable if you do. Now, if you're looking for a different language than English, when you uh, watch uh, Jomo Tech's uh, review of it, be sure you check how he types in EN for English as the language that he converts to. And perhaps, perhaps you can plug in your language and uh, if it supports it, you can put that in there as well. So icon wise, you can see there's your phone calling and your, your steps. Um, you've got some unique 
Chinese only apps in here, the music player, your file manager. This is probably going to get you in to where you can see um, how much storage you've got. I think that's what that icon is. There's an overall weather app, um, clock for your alarms and such. And basic functions. That looks like it's a compass. Yeah, we get in here. And it wants to calibrate, so we loop it around. We've seen that before on the pace. There we go. And I'm sitting due north, and that's where it's pointing to. Nice, quick, responsive compass in here as well. And your overall settings, and not sure what that one is. Okay, still not sure. It looks like it maybe you can um, do like a Chrome cookup to a TV set. <laughs> It's going to be great when it's converted to English, but head on over, like I said, to uh, Jomo Tech. Uh, I have the link in the show notes down below for sure. Hopefully at the very end of the video, I'll have a link right up here that can take you right to the video where he explains how to set this watch up for, uh, for English, and uh, we can take it from there. So it does appear that it's going to be successfully connected to the AmazeFit watch uh, app. As long as you update the app to include um, the new one so that you can link to it, uh, there may be a way in the watch to convert to English or in the app to do it, but I haven't seen that as we went through here. Uh, it looks like the brute force way, um, hooking it to the computer and, and updating it, will get it to English. It's asking for a check mark there. Oh, wow, what's it doing now? Huh. Fun things to discover. When and if I get this thing converted to English, uh, we'll do a deeper review of it, or we'll call one in that is on the international uh, version uh, as soon as it's available. But to introduce you to this and get you started early now in 2019, we figured we'd go ahead and give you the quick look at the Chinese version. Once again, it's called the Verge. Looks like this on. It's got nice TPU band. Uh, almost a kid's toy. That's what I see it as. Very playful little thing. And it's available from our sponsor GearBest in the international version, but check to see if, I mean, in the Chinese only version, but check to see if they get an update to the international version. They'll have it there. And of course, I'll put the link in the show notes for the international version as soon as it's available. Okay, you've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Here we go into year number four. This should be a really amazing year for smartwatches. We'll see you again soon.